Hi guys, Wendy here. In this video, we're gonna draw my draw so cute bowl of fruit. So let's get started. With this drawing, we're gonna first start by drawing our bowl. So right here, I'm gonna be drawing a really big curve that goes all the way across. So I'm just gonna to come to the other side because this is such a big curve and just kind of give myself a point straight across about right there, about how wide I want it so I know where to go. Start to curve up. There. So nice big curve, and then I'm going to bring this down. And just going to round it off. In the bottom right here. And connect it. Got my big bowl in and from there I'm just going to add another curve right here following the top just to give it some details. This way you can add another color if you wanted. Oops. All the way across. And then right here because it is a draw so cute bowl it's gonna have to have a heart <laughs> right there. Okay, so I'm done with the bowl. Let's come over right here and I'm going to draw a little curve. So I'm just gonna curve it in a little bit. So this is as if you're drawing an oval for the opening of the bowl right here. But of course we have to put all our fruit in, so we're just gonna leave it as is for now. And then from right here, I'm gonna start to draw um, my apple because this apple is right here and you wanna draw everything that's in the foreground first and then add the stuff in the back. So right here, I'm gonna draw my apple. I'm gonna come in about right here, start to draw a nice, yummy apple, nice big curve. And we're gonna to come to about right here, the center, and I'm going to dip it in a little bit and come back up and come back all the way down and just put it inside that bowl. And so for some details right here in the center, so this apple is at an angle. Right here in the center, I'm going to draw a little curve. And then from here, I'm going to draw a stem. So this is how you would do it if you're using a pencil. So I will go in there and erase that line. And so I'm gonna draw a little stem and bring it inside. And from here, I'm just gonna add some, add one little leaf just to give it a nice pop of green in there and a line inside the leaf. Okay, so then that's the details for the stem and the leaf. Let's bring this apple to life right here. So I'm going to give it draw so cute eyes. It's a nice big circle. Oops. And I'm gonna go across also at an angle and draw another circle and make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside and a curved line and shade in the top. So notice everything is at an angle, even the curve and the lines at the bottom. So same thing over here and the curve and shade in the top. and the lines at the bottom. Okay, and I'm just gonna come up here and just add two little lashes and a little curve to anchor my eyes and a cute smile right in between and cap it off. So I got my first little apple in and then right here I have some grapes. So I'm gonna draw the grapes first cause it's in the foreground. So I'm gonna just start about right here cause I know I have a bunch right here. I'm gonna start with one circle for my first grape. So you don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing. You just wanna add a bunch of circles together. And let's see here, maybe one more here. And I'm gonna come up here now. Mm -hmm. Maybe draw one here. So 
So some will be in the foreground, some will be in the background, just however you stack your grapes. So you basically want just to want to fill this whole section um, with these little circles. Okay, let's see here, add one more here. Add a nice big one there. And add one more here. There, so I got my bunch of grapes in. And then right here in the center, at an angle, I'm gonna add a stem. It's a nice long stem. And bring it back in. So with this bunch of grapes, I'm just gonna bring each one to life and give it some silly faces. And just have fun with this, whatever you want. So whatever you do, just make your faces at different angles just to make it a little bit more fun. So different angles for the faces. Maybe this guy's not happy because he's squished. <laughs> um, this one's sleeping because he's tucked all the way inside. So anything you like. Don't smile. Let's see here. As you can see, whatever you like is fine. So there, I got a little bunch of grapes in. And then from there, I'm going to draw my pear. So about in the center right here, I'm going to start to come about right here. I want my big pear. And I'm just gonna come up, start to bring it in, and draw the top of my pear. And then I'm gonna bring this part in once again, and then come out. So I got that little pair in, or big pair actually. So I actually got one more grape there tucked away. And so then from this one, once again, the same thing, I'm gonna come in here and draw a little curve and put out my stem from inside there. So come out, little stem, and then draw a leaf. And then let's bring this pair to life. I'm gonna come up, give it some cute, happy curved eyes. A big, nice smile. Cap it off, an open mouth, and a little tongue. So I got my pair in. Now we have this space right here. I'm going to add, just very simple, just add a big circle. So part of a circle, and we're going to add an orange. So let's just fill up this space right here. And to make it look like an orange, I'm gonna come about right here and draw a little oval. So this is the top of the orange, and I'm gonna come in here and just draw a curve to follow my orange and give it that look right there, make it look dimensional. And then since I don't have much room, I'm gonna have this orange facing this way. So I'm just gonna add these eyes. I go that way, and a big smile, like that. So that's our little orange, our big orange. <laughs> Finish that, and so let's see here. The last thing I'm gonna add is a banana. So I'm gonna come up and put the banana right here. So I'm gonna start with a curve, and I'm gonna come up, just give it a slight angle, so this is the tip part right here, and then bring it down. And then right here, I'm gonna draw another angle, softly right there, and I'm just gonna shade this in. So just stuff a little white mark right there so you know that this 
um, part right here is not flat, that there is an angle at it. And I'm just going to draw a very slight soft line The tapers off. Okay, so then from there I'm going to bring this banana to life and I'm going to come about right here once again and draw the eyes. A little curve at the top and another cute little smile. So we just want this bowl of fruit to be really, really happy. Whatever you do, everyone is really happy to be in this bowl except some of them. <laughs> So there, my yummy bowl of fruit. Hope you guys loved how this turned out. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.